Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're doing good. Today we're back taking a closer look at the iOS 12 jailbreak scene. Now I've received so many questions lately as to what firmwares the jailbreak is going to support, which devices are going to be supported, and again, so many questions regarding its release date. So in this video, I hope to clear up what we know and also clarify what we don't know at this point. Okay, so before we start, like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest news. Also, check out our Best Tech Info website for a written version of this information. All right, let's start off by talking about the important stuff, release dates and ETAs. Well, just to spell it out clearly, no one knows. Now, Pwned Own has been generating some hype on his Twitter, changing his bio and name quite a few times these last few days, and this has led some to believe that the jailbreak is going to be released at any moment now. And while they are close, just because he's doing this, it doesn't mean he's going to release the jailbreak today by any means. Frankly, no one knows when it's going to be released, just that it's in its final stages and more private testing is required. It will be out soon, we just don't know when, no one does. Now, taking a step back and comparing this to last year a little bit, the initial wait between Ian Beer's kernel exploit being released to the first iOS 11 jailbreak utility with Cydia was a whopping 78 days. If you guys recall, Ian Beer's exploit for iOS 11.1.2 was released on December 11th, 2017, and the very first version of Electro with Cydia did not ship until February 27th, 2018. Now, I'm not saying it's going to take this long this year, but comparing apples to apples, Brandon and Zad's kernel exploit was just released on January 29th. It's now February 21st, thus only 23 days have passed since then. So that being said, let the devs work in peace and give them the time they need to make everything stable. Yes, pwn status is changing constantly, we are aware. No, there is not an ETA or any information officially on supported devices. We will just have to wait and be patient and see exactly what comes out in the very near future. So like I said, nothing is confirmed by Pwn at this point in time regarding supported devices, but let's take a look at what we know. Well, Brandon and Azad's kernel exploit that was released supports iOS versions 12 to 12.1.2, but as many know, that's not all that is needed or that goes into a jailbreak. Well, from what the community has done thus far and taking a look at the support of the rootless jailbreak, Pwn's initial uncovered jailbreak for iOS 12 is likely to support iOS 12 to 12.1.2 for A9 to A11 devices, aka the iPhone 6S to the iPhone 10. Again, this is just speculation, but based on what we know, it's likely to be the case. In the end, however, this jailbreak is predicted to support all devices that can run iOS 12, including A7, A8, and A12 devices, again, running iOS 12 to 12.1.2. Now, there have been quite a few developments for A7 to A8 devices, aka the iPhone 5S and iPhone 6, which may or may not make their way into the initial beta release. A12, on the other hand, so the new iPhone XS, XS Max, and XR, as well as the A12X devices like the new iPads have proven to be a bit more difficult as they're just so new. But a minor step in the right direction was released today. A Trust Inject project was released to the public by this developer, Protease. From what the community has gathered, this could be used in a rootless style jailbreak for A12 devices, as well as a potential rootless file explorer. But again, this alone is not everything we need for a full-fledged jailbreak like Uncover on A12. That being said, however, A12 users don't give up hope just yet. Although A12 devices are most likely not going to be supported by the initial uncovered jailbreak for iOS 12, Pwn has stated in the past that he is going to focus on A12 support once the jailbreak is out for all of the other devices. He has been working closely with other developers in the community to make this happen. Anyway, that's just about all the news I have for you. Again, definitely like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated if anything major comes out in the near future. If you guys are excited for this year's iOS 12 jailbreak, again, definitely give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know down below in the comments section. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.